I'm Stevie Wishart. I'm a composer. I'm also a hurdy-gurdy player and improviser. For many years I've wanted to write a piece for a Baroque orchestra. I'm, I'm really interested in early music as a way to look forward, if we think of instruments like the oboe. Um, they're really new to people, the uh, sounds. And, and the thing is with the composer is so often when you're, say if I'm writing a piece for a piano or a violin, people have so much cultural baggage um, that really I think filters and colours the way they listen to the music. But interestingly enough, I think if you go back in time, actually there is less cultural baggage. It might kind of seem a bit of a counterintuitive comment, but I think there's as many new sounds, if not more new sounds, the further we go back. So that was really the initial inspiration of this piece. Because I have a great respect for improvisation, whether it be in more sort of world music and traditional music um, or in contemporary music, um, the idea of the performer getting more or less involved in creating some of the content of the work is something that's very important to me. Again, when we go back in time, there was no question that the performer, or especially the soloist, didn't improvise. You often got the gig because of your skill at improvisation. And I think we've rather lost this in contemporary art music, and it's something I'm very keen to bring back again, but also bring back in such a way where the performer is empowered to contribute to the music, to make, it, to make them feel that they own what they're playing and that their approach to it is unique while also keeping the integrity of the composer with my vision of the work. And I think that is an extremely delicate balance. And in a way, that's what I, what I hope will be successfully solved in this piece. It's a big risk to take, especially with the small amount of rehearsal time. Um, but I hope it's worth the effort. <laughs>